Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen and in this video I'm going to show you how I organize my notebooks in my OneNote account. Now this is actually a new version of this video that I redid due to audio problems in the first version. If you saw that version, my apologies and thank you to those who let me know. I did of course check the sound before uploading, but what I learned is that a video can sound fine on the device you recorded it on and then sound bad on other devices. So I uh, won't make that mistake again. Now, uh, I myself am an avid OneNote fan, and I use OneNote to keep just about everything in my life organized and moving ahead. I'm a YouTube creator, blogger at OneNoteWorthyLife.com, and I host the OneNote Bullet Journal Facebook group. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to answer a question I got in our Facebook group about how I organize my notebooks. In this video, I am just going to show you each of my notebooks and how I use them. Where it's applicable, I'm going to tell you why I created that notebook and if it's shared with anyone. In order to keep the video to a reasonable length, I won't be going into details about the sections in each notebook, but I will be doing future videos on how I organize the sections and pages in my notebooks for specific purposes. Okay, let's get started. Now, if you aren't familiar with OneNote, you can have multiple notebooks within your account. I'll put a link to my introduction to OneNote video in the description of this video in case you need it. Now, right now, I'm in my demo notebook, which is a notebook I have set up specifically to record OneNote tutorials. We can tell them in my demo notebook because it says so right here on the upper left. Right up here where it says demo notebook. Um, I am using the OneNote for Windows 10 version to record this video. So depending on what version of OneNote you're using, your screen might look a little bit different. But what I'm going to do now is click this left facing arrow next to the uh, notebook name. And that's going to show me the notebooks I've used recently. Okay, so these are my recently used notebooks, so we can just kind of run through those real quick. Um, so first up we have my bullet journal, and I use this uh, much in the same way that probably a lot of people use their bullet journal. I have daily pages, weekly pages, checklists, trackers, that kind of thing. The next notebook down is my business and blog notebook, and that's called One Noteworthy Life. Uh, so I have things for uh, blog and video ideas, checklists, calendars, that kind of thing. The next notebook down is my demo notebook, which, as I mentioned, is the notebook we're in. And you can tell that this little icon here looks a little bit different. It's open compared to the other ones, which look like closed notebooks with tabs. The next notebook down is my uh, 2017 bullet journal archive. What I do with my bullet journal is I keep the current pages in there and then I add new pages as I need them. And when a section gets too full or um, just I don't need a certain page anymore, I move it off to an archive. So it keeps my current bullet journal um, kind of small and sleek and easy to sync and easy to access things when I'm on a small device like my phone. Um, the next notebook down is called Michelle's Notebook, and that is the default notebook that OneNote sets up for you when you first set up your account. Now, right now, the only thing I use that for is Quick Notes. So um, if I make a note from my phone using the OneNote badge, or if I send something to OneNote from, say, like another Microsoft app, this is where it lands. I treat this like an inbox for miscellaneous things, and then part of my weekly planning process is to go through and make sure all the items in this notebook are taken care of in some way or another. So now I'm going to click this More Notebooks link, and it's going to show me all the rest of my notebooks. So I'm just going to run through these in order. Uh, this first one is called Staycation Ideas, and that is a notebook that my husband and I share. Uh, it's for ideas of things we might want to do locally, like if we're staying around the house for a, a few days off or um, things we could do in a day or an afternoon. And I really like having this notebook because um, when we have time to do something fun, we have a ready list of ideas for it. And if I read something or see something that I might want to do, I have a place to store that idea. The next notebook down is labeled simply 2016, which I know isn't the best label, but it's an archive for my 2016 pages that I don't use anymore. Um, as I mentioned in my bullet journal, I move, I create new pages and then I move them out when I don't need them anymore. So this is the archive for 2016. Now the next notebook down is called Criminology, and that's just from an online course I took. Um, it's just a hobby and interest of mine. I'm into you know forensics and crime and that kind of thing. So this uh, criminology notebook, as well as the one that's two down called Profiling, is um, 
classes I took online. This one in the middle here called Gran is a family member and we um, use this to keep track of certain things relating to that person. And I'm scrolling down and then I have uh, a notebook called Seattle Trip 2016. And this is a notebook that my husband and I used to plan a trip to Seattle in 2016. And I'll do a future video on doing a vacation planning notebook because it was hugely helpful. Um, having a notebook like this lets you store things like hotel reservations, maps, links to travel sites, documents, etc. And by the way, that is not my dog barking. We have a little barky dog in the neighborhood. Um, so anyway, in, in that travel notebook, it's just really helpful to be able to have all the stuff related to your trip in one place. And it's also accessible even if you only have your phone with you. The final notebook is called C Work, and C is my husband Chris, and this notebook contains certain details about his work that are convenient for both of us to have access to. He freelances and works for various companies, so there are things that we need to keep straight between us. Now one final topic I want to share with you is some general ideas about how I decide whether or not to make something into a section in an existing notebook or a brand new notebook. So I'm going to go back to the demo notebook and so on this page I'm going to give you some of these general ideas. So I might create a new notebook for something if something has a lot of information that would be convenient to be able to section off. So that would be an example of a vacation notebook. That was a specific project that we did. I only needed it for a certain period of time and then when we were done I was able to kind of get it out of my current um, view. Uh, later on if my OneNote account becomes too full I can actually store that notebook out of my um, OneDrive. I can store it on my own hard drive and not on the Microsoft Cloud Storage, which is called OneDrive. Uh, another reason I might want to create a notebook is because something is relevant now but will not be needed regularly in the future. And so an example of that would be those online class notebooks. You might want separate notebooks for work and personal um, for obvious reasons. You might not want your personal details uh, showing up when you open up a notebook at work and you also might not want to take your work home and look at it when you're trying to look at things for your personal life. You might want separate notebooks in order to separate the areas of your life. So you might want separate notebooks for family, household, hobby, volunteer work, business, etc. You may want to separate your notebooks based on what you share and don't share. And then finally, um, if I find that I'm starting to accumulate a lot of pages on a topic and need more organization for that topic, I might add, start by adding a new section into an existing notebook, and then I might add a new notebook altogether. So that's it. That's an overview of my OneNote notebooks. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments of this video, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button so I know you like this. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day.